Gigi here. I thought I would go ahead and do a quick video for you before I head to work. Um, I am going to join the Emily on Keto 90 Day Challenge with Miss K. And my goals for the 90 days is I'm going to have no sweets of any kind for 90 days. So I'm not going to have um, any, you know, homemade sweets, I'm not going to do any protein bars, um, no protein shakes, um, just, yeah, basically just whole foods, um, not going to do any Halo Top ice cream or um, anything like that. I'm trying to really curb my sweet tooth, which is insane, as you guys know. Um, sweets have always been my thing since I was really young. So I am trying to do 90 days of no sweets of any kind. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm hopeful. <laughs> we'll see. Also, I am trying to learn some more like coping kind of skills to stop myself from binge eating, which I've had a problem binge eating since I was nine years old. So um, I recently took up, which has actually helped me, I don't know, my husband had the idea because he was asking me, you know, well, what kind of things do you think that you could do, um, you know, to take your mind off of, you know, things and, you know, um, just keep yourself, you know, occupied where you're not, you know, going to binge, like basically to prevent it. So what I did the other day and what I did last night was color. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but it actually did work. Um, I did this one the first day, so you can see I did that one. And then last night I did this one. And then, I mean, there's just, there's all kinds. This one is an animal one. <laughs> That's funny. So it just has like tons of different, you know, animals of all kinds. And I just got this at, it was like Woolies or Kohl's when we were shopping and I never used it. And then my husband got me these um, watercolor pencils and I was like, I'll try it. So I did and it actually helped me. Um, I know when I was younger, one of the like memories that I have growing up is that my stepdad, um, it's my brother's dad, um, he was always like my dad because, you know, my father died before I was born, actually a month before I was born, so I never got to meet him or know him, and my mom, I think she got with him when I was about three, and then, uh, um, uh, she, it was kind of on and off thing, dated for a while, and then married, and then she ended up divorcing him when I was eight, nine, I think nine, somewhere around there. So he used to always sit in color with me. And he, I think that's where I got it from. He would like outline with like a marker or another crayon and then he would color in with another crayon. So it wasn't like just normal coloring. Like he actually had like this whole system and I picked it up. I guess, you know, we pick up things from, you know, people that, you know, we have like some kind of respect for growing up or something. I don't know. It's weird. I also have another thing from him, which is a, it's a bad thing, but my stepdad used to always hate when people chewed food and you could hear it. And I picked that up too. Cause like <laughs> my husband is like the loudest eater in the world. And I actually found this video on YouTube of this panda bear eating a carrot and he's like and you know how it was really loud and I showed it to my husband because I was like this is you I was he's giving me the bird at the moment 
but yeah he just he's really loud at eating and it annoys me like when he eats like that I'm just like ah I don't know if any of you are like that but my stepdad had that where he hated it and for some reason I picked it up I hate it like it just annoys me when people smack while they're eating or crunch and I don't know so now you see something that's a little pet peeve of mine that is ridiculous but I have it so yeah um, just wanted to give you an update on um, that I'm doing the 90 day challenge what my goals are for the 90 day challenge if you want to um, join in go to Emily on keto or Miss K and tell them that you want to join in you don't have to do videos if you just want to comment what your goals are and for the 90 days we can support each other on whatever your goals are it doesn't have to be keto like me I mean I follow everybody doesn't matter ah one other thing the stork food company that I was getting well I got one box that I ordered from them that's a keto box that you can see in my unboxing videos um, I was told that they are now like out of business people didn't receive boxes and that there was all kinds of issues so please do not try to order a box from them because people are trying to like get their money back and I always left a comment in my comment section for it and I just wanted to warn people like just in case you know there is you know obviously something going on with them um, I did not get my box this month from the keto toolbox um, I messaged them and asked them why because I had a continual um, subscription for them and I have not received it but hopefully they will fix it because I really did like that box and I wanted to continue it um, when I originally got the box it was $40 I ordered it back in November for the December box and if you ordered it early like then then you would still get a continuation of a cheaper box now if you get them it's like $69.95 a month for the keto toolbox which I understand products here are more expensive but that's just it's pretty steep I mean $40 is reasonable I think but almost 70 and you can do like a 10% discount like if you hashtag them and then show pictures of your boxes but yeah so hopefully they will fix that just to let you know about the stork food company though so I will catch you guys later bye